the fight now. Yeah. This fight is not corner, but it's, it, it's spiritual. You got to begin to lay out the word of God, live the word of God, yeah. stand on the word of God, yeah. believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Yes, we Lord. got to believe what the word tell us. Yeah. What God's word, the decrees that he have already written out, we got to believe exactly what the word of God is saying unto us. Yeah. We speak it, but we don't believe it. We speak it, but we do not apply the word of God, the decrees that he have already given us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. But we have to fight now. We cannot throw our head up under the cover. We can't hide in the closet anymore. But we got to stand up with boldness and begin to fight in the things of God. The decrees that he has written over our lives. We can't hide any longer. He said, now it's time for you to fight. Mordecai sent out the word and Mordecai told them, now all of you Jews. He said, you come together. You come together in unity. You get all the Jews, all the household, you get them to come together because now it's time for you to fight. Yes, you yes. know, you can't hide no more. You when you when stuff is going on in your family, now it's time for you to stand and say, you know what? I gotta fight now. Yes. I got to stand on the decrees of God. Decrees I just God. don't want to just quote the decrees of God, yes. but I want to live it and I want to believe the decrees yes, of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mordecai told them, he said, you come together. Mm -hmm. He said, now, we're in Esther, the ninth chapter. Now in the 12th month, that is the month of Adar. On the 13th day, the time came. See, the time came. The time came. See, the time has came. Mm -hmm. Now you have been given instructions. Now mm -hmm. you have been given directions. Ahead of time. Yes, ahead of time. Yes. You have been um, told this beforehand mm -hmm. before you even start the fight. Watch out for this. Yes. I want you to stand guard. I want you to put on the whole arm of God. Mm -hmm. See, we say all these things and we say we got on the whole arm of God, but a lot of times we don't even pick up the armor yeah. to put on the whole arm oh, of God. God. Yes, we, we speak those things, yeah. but we do not do those things. That's oh. why is now is the time to yeah. implement the implement. decrees yeah. that's written or spoken over your life. Yes, Lord. yes. When, when you are implementing something, you you are executing it. Yeah. You are killing that thing. You are carrying out what God say carry out. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is that try to come up against you, and whatever it is that try to keep you bound, you kill it in the spirit. Yeah. Whatever yeah. thing that try to come up against you and your family, you kill it in the spirit. Yeah. You execute that thing. Yes, yes, Lord. Not only that, you perform what God said. Oh, His God word. Said. See, He said that his word will not return to him void, yeah. but it will accomplish what he has sent it out to do. Mm -hmm. God's word, if God's word is in us, yeah. then we got to go and perform that thing yeah. where God is going to use man or woman to perform that Amen. thing. He going to perform through them. Yeah. Also, yeah. you have to accomplish what God said you can accomplish. Yeah. God said you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. But we don't believe that. Come on now. We can quote that easy. Mm -hmm. But whenever there's spiritual warfare going on, we yeah. put our head up under the cover. We begin to go into depression because we don't feel like we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. Yeah. Because the thing looked too big. Mm. Yes, Lord. It looked too big. It costs too much. Thank you, Jesus. But when you begin to implement God's word mm. and really believe what God's word said. See, we can't be weak saints. We got to be those saints that's going to raise up and fight for our family. Yes. Fight. It don't matter who ain't fight. Yes, Lord. Fight for your children. Fight for, fight your, for your brothers and sisters. Yes. Fight that you all be close and unified together. Yes. Yes, you got Lord. to fight in a positive way, in the spirit. In the you spirit. got to fight. Yes. Because let me tell you something. The devil is not slowing down. He is not. He's after. He's after because he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. That's what Haman was up to. Haman said, I'm going to kill, and I'm going to steal all their possessions, destroy. and I'm going to destroy every Jew off the yes. face of the earth. Yes. But God said, not so. God said, not so. Because when you got somebody standing in the gap, yes. Mordecai stayed down Hallelujah. in the gate, yes. and Mordecai did not. Yeah. He said, but I'm staying down here in this dirty yeah. place. Yeah. I'm going to stay down here hid. I'm this secret weapon that don't secret nobody weapon. know about. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm that secret weapon that's going to stand in the gap. 
that's going to intercede, yes. that's going to fight. No matter how hard it gets, I'm going to fight with all my might. Yes. Yes, Lord. yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you fight with the Spirit of God, you don't get caught up in your flesh. Mm -hmm. Because we get caught up in this flesh of thinking, oh, I can beat him up. Mm -hmm. I can beat her up. Oh, I can cut and slice and dice all day. <laughs> it ain't no big thing. Yeah. But you can't get caught up in this nasty flesh. Yeah. He says, now nah, he told Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, this word is for you. Yeah. It's not by might, not by power, by but by the spirit, spirit of yes. the living Lord. Yes. It's by the spirit of God that's going to do this thing through you. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. See, we're speaking things. We speak in the decrees, but we don't believe the decrees. Amen. We're not working the decrees. Yes. We're not implementing the decrees. We're just speaking out of our mouth. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, We're Lord. just speaking this thing. Yes, Lord. Do you believe what God is really saying Do to us? Do you believe? Yes, Lord. Do you believe? He said, now, I'm not going to come in your unbelief. I'm not going to even entertain your unbelief. Yes. You're going to have to fight for the promises. Mm. You're going to have to fight to keep what God has given you. Yes, yes. You're going to have to fight for it. Come and on, how you begin to fight, you say, i got to get down in the game. i got to get down to a place of intercessory. i got to get down and i got to begin to pray and stand in the gap. Yes, yes, i got to speak God's word. on. Some people, something hit them, they're they ready to give up real quick. They're ready to throw in the towel real quick because it ain't no fighting them. Yes. He said, contend for the fight. Mm. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. Amen. If you ain't got no fight in you, you ain't got no faith in you. Yeah. Wow. Come on now. Let's because if he said fight for the good fight of faith, okay, we got to fight and we got to continue to go on where we grow in this thing mm -hmm. and we continue to grow in faith. He said, now, do you really have faith? Do you really have my decrees in you? He said, because faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. You got to hear the word, and when you hear the word, you got to carry the word, and you got to live out the word. Yes. That's how you begin to implement the decrees that's over your life. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said in this first verse, now in the 12th month, that is the month of Adar, on the 13th day, yes. the time came. See, it's always a time yes. that's going to come. It's a time and season for everything. Your season ain't going to stay the same. Your season's going to change. The time is going to come where God said, now is your time to get before me and fast. Yes. Now is your time to stay in intercessory. Now is your time to stay in my word for this amount of time. See, God know how to move. Now you, you, you see those seasons and you don't understand it. We don't understand it. It's not for us to understand it, but it's for us to obey God's word. Yes. Hallelujah. The time came mm -hmm. for the kings commanded his decree to be executed uh -huh. on the day that the enemies of the Jew, Jews had hoped to overpower them. Yeah. He said, now, this is going to be executed. Mm -hmm. They're going to take care of Mordecai already had told them. Get ready to fight. Get ready to fight. He said, I want all of y'all to come together. I want y'all to fight. Mm -hmm. The same ones that wanted to kill us and they had word to destroy us yeah. and execute us, we're about to execute them. Yes, yes, Lord. See, you ain't got to worry about your enemies when you in God. God got you covered. Mm. You don't got to even worry yourself. God is in your hands. But you need to hear God when God say, bust a move. When, when God say, do this. When God say, go this direction. You need to hear God so you will know exactly. Yes. He said, no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Yes, Lord. So you got to believe that. We quote it, but we don't really believe it. Because first time we hear something or first time somebody come up against us, we're ready to fight. Or we ready to give up. And something wrong with that. We gotta we gotta grab hold to that word and yes, keep Lord. it. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The day of a door, a door was round about March or April. Hallelujah for mm -hmm. the children of Israel. Yes. It was they knew. They it knew. was their time to rest. Spring it was time. their time to be joyful. Spring it was the, the gladness, the springtime. Springtime. This was their time right here. Mm -hmm. The time of Adore. And then also Adore was the time where they were released. Miracles was being released. Yes. This was their new. This was their new. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. This was their new. And we got to know how to 
walk in our new. Yes, Lord. We got to know how to enjoy our new yes, and still stay in a place of fight mode. We're yeah. fighting in the spirit because yeah. let me tell you yes, something. Lord. Don't nothing come easy. Come on now. Yes, Lord. You can walk the nicest thing, but it don't come easy. You got to put work for it. Yeah. Come Faith on. without works is dead. Yeah. You got to put forth work to get what you want. Mm -hmm. So that takes for a fight. Yeah. Because your flesh ain't going to want to do that. <laughs> so you're going to have to tell your flesh to line up with your spirit. Yeah. No, we're going to carry this thing out. Mm -hmm. I know I got to fight for it. You got to fight in order to enjoy your new. Yeah. To be able to walk in your new and continue to stay in your new where can't nobody pull you out of your new. Yes, and Lord. try to take you back to your old. Come on now. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. You have to change the way of thinking. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But he said, yes, for the king's command and his decree mm -hmm. is to be executed on this day, on, on the very day. day that the enemies mm -hmm. planned on taking them out. Yes. All you got to do is let God do it. Yes, Lord. Let God carry this thing out. The time came for them to execute. Yeah. Mean we got the decree of the word. We got the word on. Now we got to carry it out. Walk it out. Yes, Lord. You, we got to walk this way. When God is speaking, and God is speaking through men and women of God, you got to catch every little crumb so you can be able to walk that thing out. Because as soon as you walk out them doors, that's when you really yeah. go to fight. Yeah. You ain't got a too much fight in the church. But when you walk out that door, yeah. that's when the fight begins. Yeah. Because the enemy going to try to raise his head up or your flesh going to start trying to fight against your spirit. Yeah. And now it's like I've got to start speaking the decrees of God over my life. Yeah. He said, I'm more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I'm the head and not the tail. Yeah. I'm above and not beneath. I'm blessed in my going in. I'm blessed in my yes, coming out. Lord. I'm my body is blessed. Hallelujah. God, I can do all things through Christ which yeah. strengthens me. We got to believe that. Yes, Lord. Because that's when that flesh start acting up. Yes, Lord. You begin, God saying, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. You begin to start looking, I'm ugly. Oh, I don't like the way this looks. Everybody go through that. I wish I could change this. Mm -hmm. I wish I could lose 20 pounds. I, I wish I could grow my hair a little longer. Mm -hmm. I wish I was a little lighter. I wish I was a little darker. I wish I was a little taller. Everybody go through that thing. But God said, God you are fearfully and Amen. wonderfully made. Yes. He said, he formed you in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Your mother did not know how you was going to look. Yes. How you was going to act and what you was going to accomplish in this earth. But God said, I already knew. Yes. Yes, I Lord. formed you. I made you. Yes. Hallelujah. So you got to hear what God say about you. Walk it out. Yes, when Lord. you walk out the word. See, that's when you know somebody walking out the word, you know they fight. You know they fight and they have the boldness of God, the spirit of God is leading them because it's hard at times to continue to fight when you got chaos all around you. Mm -hmm. But that should be something to make us fight even harder. Mm -hmm. You gotta fight for your marriage. You gotta fight for your ministry. Yeah. You gotta fight for your family. You gotta fight for all of this. Yes, Lord. When ain't nobody else fighting for it. Come on now. Yes, Lord. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep standing because that's going to be the very thing that try to come up. Whatever interest way that the enemy can get in, that's what he would try. But when you on your toes and you know that God already warned you and God yes. said trouble is coming and God said guard yourself, protect guard yourself, yourself. Yes, you already know to be on guard, that's yes. when you really be suited and booted yes, for warfare. Lord. You really get to the point where I got to get down and dirty for this. I got to get to a place of intercessory. I got to put on a sackcloth and ashes yes. because I need God to fight this thing in the spirit yes. through me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank, Thank, you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We got to believe what God's words say, that we can walk this thing out. What you meant for my bad, God is already Amen. turned around for my good. God said there have been a reversal. He yes. said, now you plan to do this to me on this day or to my people on this day. He said, but I just reversed it. Yes, it's going to turn around and come Hallelujah. back your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. There's been a reversal. Thank Hallelujah. You. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A, a reversal. Mm -hmm. He said, now, yes, yes, they're going to overpower them. He said, the opposite occurred, and that the Jews themselves overpowered those who hated them. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. See, they hated them, but God get, God That's empowered God. them. Yeah. God imputed power in them mm -hmm. to overpower the to enemy. Overpower the enemy. See, we look at other things to give us power. Mm -hmm. We look at guns and, and knives and all this type of stuff, all type of weapons to give us power. But when God impute power in you, yes, he God. give you dunamis power, yes. that dynamite power where God flexes his muscles through you where you look stronger than what you are. Yes. You can go through a troop and can't never yes. touch you. That's yes, how Lord. powerful yes, God Lord. is. Yes, Lord. But when you have your trust in other means and other things, mm -hmm. you can get lost in a, in a point of battle. Mm -hmm. You can get killed in battle because you're not covered by the best. Mm -hmm. You're not covered by the best. Covered by the best, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But they overpowered those who hated them. And see, a lot of times you can overpower people when you constantly walk in the word out, when you're walking in love and you know mm -hmm. they hate. Yes. You overpower them, be <laughs> When you walk in joy and you know that they sad, you overpower them. Me. Yes. When you walk in truth and you know they living a lie, you yes, overpower them. Me. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. You come back when you encourage and they don't, you overpower them. Me. Yes. It's yes, all Lord. about walking the word out. I'm going to walk in love. Yes. God, I'm going to walk in the fruits of the spirit. You overpower the enemy. Me. Yes. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Yes. You overpower and you got to know that the power that God gives us. He said, I give you the authority. He said, I give you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. and over all the power of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by any means harm you. Amen. But we don't believe it. We just speak that. We quote them, them scriptures all the time, all day long. But then, when something hit us, <laughs> we bag back in a corner. We get depressed. We get stressed. We get angry, we start screaming, we start hollering because we're not really taking in the decrees that God is speaking to us. Yes. The word of God, what he tell us. He said, that's already yours. Already yours. Yeah. See, the thing about it is, we don't even have to fight for that. God said, I already given that to you. That's just a weapon you can use. You don't gotta fight for what I have for you. He said, it's already yours. You use this where you know how to fight. This is a weapon for you to fight in. So God said, now, I'm giving you the power. Yeah. It's already yours. Already, already yours. Hallelujah. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. See, we got to stop thinking that this thing is fleshly. Mm -hmm. it's, we got to stop thinking that it's corner. No, it's in the spirit. In the spirit. That's why sometimes it's so hard for people to do it because they're not in the spirit. <laughs> That's the reason why people are getting whooped down and depressed because we're not in the spirit. We're, yes. we're, we're in the flesh. Yes. We can't hear the message out in the church because we're in the flesh. In the flesh. Our yes, mind Lord. is everywhere. Come on now. Our mind is everywhere. But God is speaking something and God is releasing something and God is trying to allow you to hear before something comes, yes. before something hits. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We got to trust God and obey God. Trust God. It said, but the Jews gathered together in the cities mm -hmm. throughout all the province of King Esther. Yes. Lay hands on those who sought their harm, and no one could withstand them because fear of them fell upon all the people. First, all of them came together. On, That's now. why unity is so important. Yes. They came together. See, you can get a lot done, a lot done. in unity. Yes. How good, behold, how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Yes. Because a lot can get done in unity. In unity. You have power in unity. In unity. Amen. Yes, Lord. You have power in unity. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. When you obey God's word and you come together and Hallelujah. you say, you know what? We got to stand together regardless of what. Yeah. It don't matter who in your family don't want to come together in unity. Come on now. But you walk in unity. You walk in, you walk in love. Yeah. You walk the word out. Mm -hmm. Because then you begin to destroy generational curses. Yeah. Where I no longer walk in division, but I walk in unity. Yeah. Come on now. 
Because the work can get done if we come together in unity. See the difference? Yes, Lord. See, you can go through a wall. You can go through troops in unity because unity. there's strength there in unity. Yes, yeah. come on now. Yes, Lord. There's strength there in unity. Two are better than one. Yes, than one. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. I want to go over here where we can see exactly how important unity is. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm going to rush through this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to come together in unity. Stop allowing people to push you in, yes. in discord and division yes. where it, it looked like something wrong because I'm close to this family. I'm close to that person. No, you keep unity, unity. because when unity there, ain't nothing the enemy can do about no, it. Now. Yes, Lord. It's too much strength. He's scared too much of strength. Too much strength. He's, yes, he's afraid of that. Mm. Ecclesiastes. Hallelujah. The fourth verse, beginning at the ninth verse. He said two are fourth better chapter. than one. Because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. See, two is better than one. Yes. We have to come together. It don't matter who ain't coming together. You got to make up in your mind, I'm coming together. Two better than one. Two are better than one. Amen. So if you don't want to be a part of this two, okay, go, go ahead. Yes. But if two of us come together, yes. that's better than one. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's better than one. Yes. So that's we got true. to learn to say, you know what? I'm going to walk in unity. Mm -hmm. Because I know that God is going to be with me. He says, two is gathered in my name. There I am in mm -hmm. the midst. Yes. So God say, hey, I don't need no whole army. If don't nobody else want to participate and don't nobody else want to be a part of yes. He said, hey, if there's two. There's two. Coming together in my name, I'm there in the midst. Yes. So I want God to be in the midst. I don't care if it's a thousand people in the room. I want God to be in the midst. Yes. Yes, Lord. If two of us walk in unity yes. and we're coming together in God's name, he said, I'm there in the midst. Yes. One would chase a thousand. Yes, One Lord. would chase a thousand. And two. And two would chase ten thousand. Yes. Ten thousand to fly. Yes. You got to believe that. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. See, we got to stop speaking things that we really don't believe. We're speaking the decrees of our life, but we don't really believe it. We're not really carrying it out. Mm -hmm. We're really not fighting. We're really not walking in the things that God tell us to walk in. You got to know, it don't matter how much money in your bank account or in your pocket, you got to know that I'm already blessed. Because yeah. God said I'm blessed. He said I have more than enough. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He said I'm the lender and not the borrower. See, yes, we Lord. quote those scriptures. But then here we go, God, I'm borrowing. But God said you're the lender and not the borrower. Yeah. So you have to begin to, when you speak those things, you got to allow yourself to receive those things yeah. and not doubt God's word. Yes, Lord. Thank you. That I am the lender and not the borrower. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I have more than enough. Thank you, Jesus. And when you say I don't got no peace, God said, I will keep thee in perfect peace mm -hmm. whose mind is stayed on me. Yeah. If you keep your mind on God, God will give you peace. A lot of people, they go through things in relationships. They, they with people. They're not married to. But they go through all of this chaos. And then they want the preacher to just keep praying over them and keep praying on them. But are you receiving the word of God? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why you ain't got no peace. That's the reason why you ain't got no joy. Because you're not walking this thing out. You're not receiving the not word of God. Me. You are blocking the word of God. Yeah. That's the reason why it have not been a reversal in your life and you have not started stepping over to walk into your new. Yeah. You study going back to the old, to the old, to the old, and you so far back in the old where you can't even see your new. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Because you're blocking out the word of God. That's the reason why you, you don't got no peace. But he said he will keep you in peace whose mind is stayed on him. Yeah. If we keep our minds stayed on God, God will give us perfect peace. Come on now. Yes, Lord. We need perfect peace. Yes. When all type of chaos is going on around us, we need that perfect peace. Perfect peace. We need that peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. They don't know why you're walking around and you and, and you at peace and you got so much joy and you ain't yes. stressed out and you ain't right. depressed and yes. you ain't weeping and you ain't crying. 
Because he gives you peace that surpasses all Amen. understanding. Yes. He gives you more than enough. God fill you up where can't nobody else fill you up. Yes. See, Mordecai had that revelation. Mordecai said, now all of y'all come together. Mm -hmm. Come together in unity. What they meant for your bad, he said, God is about to turn around. He said, but y'all finna get up and y'all finna fight. Y'all yeah. yeah. finna fight for this thing. Y'all yeah. not gonna stay in the same place. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. not gonna do the same things that y'all been doing, but this is how it's gonna be carried out. Yeah. Yes, he said, Lord. lay hands on those who sought to harm you. Mm -hmm. And no one could withstand because fear fell upon them. See, God know how to allow the fear of God. He know how to allow fear to fall upon your enemy. Amen. Where when they, they want to touch you, they can't touch you. Come on now. When they want to say something to you, they start stuttering. Come on now. Because the fear of God, because that should let you know something. And that's something to rejoice about. Yeah. Because God, I, I'm blood stamped. Mm -hmm. I'm blood bought. And they see the blood upon yeah. me so they can't touch me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, that should Lord. bring us joy yeah. when our enemies want to sneak up on us, but they can't even touch us. Yes. Yes, they Lord. can be this close to us, but they, they still can't, can't touch us. Yes, they Lord. Can't, they yes, can't Lord. overpower us. They can't take us out. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah. It don't, it don't matter what they're carrying and what they're clocking. They can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Because God unblocked it. God mm -hmm. have allowed that fear to come upon them. Come on now. Yes, they're afraid Lord. to mess with you. Yes, Lord. Because you know what? They say, that's a real man of God. That's a real woman of God. They don't understand. They can't do nothing. People come up against you. Guess what? You keep walking that word out. Yeah. Keep walking that word out. <laughs> keep showing them the love of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you keep doing that, God be doing something for them. Mm -hmm. That they need. Well, everybody ain't like that. Because the spirit of God got to live in a person. In order for them to continue to show the love of God and walk out mm -hmm. when they know you're an enemy. Yes. yes Hallelujah. Lord. It takes. The love of God. Thank you, Jesus. It takes the love of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then Esther said, wait a minute. They began to go through this. Let me go through this real quick. They began to go through this. And they began to take out all their enemies. They yeah. took over like 500 at first. Mm -hmm. They took them out and they began. They defeated all the enemies that was coming up against them. Wow. And they began to go on and go on and so forth. They was carrying this thing out. Mm -hmm. Because they had already got word. Got a word. And could nothing nobody can do. And the king said to Queen Esther, the Jew, have killed and destroyed all the 500 men in Shushan. Mm -hmm. And the 10 sons of Haman, what have they done, done in the rest of the king's province? Now what is your petition? He asked Esther, now what do you want, mm -hmm. Esther? All of this all took place. Then Esther said, if it pleases the king, let it be granted to the Jews who are in Shushan to do again tomorrow according to today's decree. Yeah. And let Haman's ten sons be hanged on the gallows. Yeah. She said, King, this is what I want. This is what I want. She said, I want all of ten of Haman's sons to be hung. Yeah. Remember, that's what Haman wanted to do to Mordecai. He wanted to take out the Jews. She said, but you know what? I'm going to go down to the root of this thing. Yeah. Because the Amalekites are already supposed to have been destroyed. Mm -hmm. She said, but well, I'm going to go down to the root of it. We're not going to leave Haman's sons on, out man. living. Yeah. We're going to go down to the root and we're going to kill this Amalekite spirit. Yeah. See, a lot of times we ain't going down to the root. Mm. We ain't going down to the root of lust and perversion and anger and bitter. We're not going down to the root of it where it can be plucked up out of us, where we can kill it, where that thing don't continue to perform in our yeah. life. Yes, Lord. It, don't, it don't continue to perform in our life. Yeah. So you got to uproot that thing. Uproot it. She said, you know what, King? She said, I want all ten of his sons. Yeah. We don't want not none That's of them. Yeah. She said, execute them. Yeah. Take them out. Carry it out. Kill them. Yeah. See, that's what you have to do. Things in the flesh, kill it. Yeah. Execute it. Don't let it rule your life. Mm -hmm. Don't let it run your life. Let the word of God order your steps order and be over steps. your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. She said, kill them. She mm -hmm. went down to the root. She said, I'm going to kill this Amalekite spirit mm -hmm. at, the root. at the root. So this thing cannot live anymore because these are the ones that wanted to kill us. Mm -hmm. And if we don't take care of Haman's ten sons, they would raise up yeah. in Haman's place and come and kill us. Yes. That's how the things that if we don't kill yeah. unforgiveness and all of this thing, if we don't pluck that thing out the root, that very thing will try to come and kill us. Yeah. We can't take it to heaven with us. Mm. But you can 
take it to hell with you. Come on now. Hallelujah. You cannot take unforgiveness to heaven with you, but you can take it to hell with you. Yeah. Because you cannot enter a place. You cannot enter that place of in heaven of peace and love and joy and take unforgiveness. God won't allow it. Yeah. He said, if you don't forgive, I won't forgive you. Yes, so Lord. you got to say, I'm going down to the very root of it. I'm going to pluck out all this unforgiveness. God, remove it by the root. Yeah. All of this bitterness, remove it by the root. Oh God, pluck it up out of me, God. Yeah. All this lust and perversion, pluck it up out of me, God. Yeah. Kill it at the root. Blow all the residue away. Whatever it is that, that, that keep driving your flesh, you got to kill that thing at the root. Yes, my Lord. flesh is not going to rule me. The yeah. Spirit of God is what's ordering my step and what's yeah. directing me each day. I give God the power over my whole body, over my whole being. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't give your flesh that type of authority because your flesh will lead you to a place of devastation. Yes, Hallelujah. But they got this. She said, go down, kill them, hang them. She said, all 10 of them. So the king commanded this to be done. Yes, the decree was issued in Shushan. Yes. And they hanged Haman's 10 sons. Mm -hmm. They hung him on there. They hung all 10 sons where now this is executed. Can't raise up no more. Can't, up no can't, more. can't, can't, can't try to. We ain't worried about the Malachites no more. They took it out. Yeah. They executed. Yes, Lord. We have implemented that word. Mm. Those decrees. We have yes. carried those decrees out. Yes, we have made sure that we did not leave no T uncrossed, no I undotted. Yeah. We have executed that thing. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. And when they got through doing that, that's what I said. We the man doing for a night, but joy coming joy. in the morning. Yes. God gonna bring joy. Mm. This was on the thirteenth day of the month of a door. I told you a door was a time of rest. Yeah. It was a time to release miracles. What miracles was released? It was a time of joy and gladness. Yes, this Lord. was their new. They enter into their new when they begin to carry out. You to can't. Carry out. You cannot expect God to carry out the decrees in your life if you're not implementing His word. Yeah. If you're not walking out His word, but they implement it by walking God's word out by carrying it out. This was on the 13th day of the month of Adar, yeah. and on the 14th day of the month they rested and mm -hmm. made it a day of feasting and gladness. Rest, yes, Lord. That day of rest. Where you begin to rejoice because you know it wasn't nobody but God. Mm. God, it was you that did it. Yeah. It was you that brought me out. It was you that covered me, God. Yeah. It wasn't nobody but you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for the joy, the peace. Yes. That you didn't allow the enemy to take me out. Hallelujah. But you allowed me to take thank the enemy Jesus. out. You empowered me to be thank able to Lord. stand, yeah. to be able to fight, yes, to Lord. be able to walk into my new. Hallelujah. To be, to, see, you, can't, you cannot apologize for your new. When you're working in your new and people don't understand, you ain't used to saying, I love you, baby. When you're not used to saying that, yeah. but then when you begin to say it, what's wrong with you? No, this, this is my new. Yeah. <laughs> when you begin to say, oh, how are you doing? Yeah. Your conversation begins to change. Yeah. See, people can't handle your new. Your walk change. Come on now. Because yes, now I, I have got a revelation uh -huh. that I belong to a king. Yeah. And he is the king of kings. The Lord of Lord. And he already tell me that I'm blessed. Yeah. So I'm going to walk in the blessings of God. Yeah, the favor of God. Yeah. The anointing of God. I'm going to enjoy. So you might get mad because you don't understand my new. But I'm going to continue to walk out my new. Man. Yeah. They walk into their new. Yes. Mm. We got to grab hold to that. We get ready to come into a new year. Yeah. But you already got to say, I'm already walking in my new. Amen. <laughs> Begin to speak about a new yeah. months and months ago. Yeah. I started walking in my new den. Yeah. I couldn't understand why in the world God it seemed like this has changed. And God, you you know, you carry me through this and, and I, God, what is this type of because God said that's your yeah. new. Yeah. 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 So you gotta grab your new and say, God, you make me old. Yes, you Lord. transform me, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, we thank you for the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Come on, saints of God. Turn your feet around the building. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to magnify the Lord. Amen. Amen. He is worthy of our praise. Woo! 
Amen. We worship him in the beauty of holiness. Amen. I encourage you, saints of God, get your mind on Jesus. Amen. He's the reason for the season. Amen. He woke us up this morning, started us on our way. Amen. Gave us health and strength in our body. Amen.